There's a mini version near me. Like, there's yeah, like a knockoff one. Yeah. No, but it's because he made all the molds. Yeah. So it's a real one, kind of, because it's from the real mold. Oh, yeah, but it's just not like. Like, this one, too, is also from the same mold. Right. It's kind of weird that they just have them, like, all over the place. But we have, like, a Rudolph sculpture garden at Stanford, I guess. Oh, really? Yeah. And Why? it's, like, all of this stuff. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm like, I've seen it already. Yeah. yeah. I've just been outside collecting um, all of these leaves from the trees that are falling right now um, and I'm gonna press them and I've kind of been wanting to do more mixed media type art so hopefully I'll turn them into some kind of art project and I also think for the kiddo that I'm watching um, it might be fun to do a fall craft together so I think this one's finished, so I'm gonna fold it. And I'm sticking them here for now, but I'll put them under bigger books later to press them flat. And there's also some flowers mixed in that I took from the lawn as well. And um, anyway, that's what I'm doing today. I'm so happy that it's fall and I needed kind of like a nature girl moment because I realized yesterday I went to the Musée Rodin with my friend um, to look at Rodin's sculptures. And there was just like a little bit of like, not forest exactly, but almost forest with some trees. And I was like uh, realizing how much I crave nature <laughs> because I really haven't, I arrived in Paris um, when, I don't know, eight weeks ago now maybe nine, something like that. And I haven't been out of the city at all. And I've experienced next to zero nature. And there's some nature like, you know, decent nature pretty close outside of the city or not even outside of the city. Like there's the Bois de Boulogne and the Bois de Vincennes, like the, it's really just woods that you can go hike and explore. Um, and I'm like realizing that I need to go do that. But anyway, this was like a good um, nature girl moment where I at least got to frolic in the garden and <laughs> collect leaves um, and rose petals. <laughs> so I was feeling at least a little fed and like a little kid. Like I used to do stuff like this as a little kid. So that was nice. And I've been taking it easier this weekend. Um, it was really nice to go to the uh, Musée Rodin yesterday because I just sat and sketched for a long time too. Um, so.
so yeah hoping for some more nature girl moments in the future i also have a break coming up um almost two weeks or 10 days maybe um that i'm like i haven't planned anything all my au pair friends are going away at least for a few days somewhere in europe but i haven't planned anything and it's kind of late now for tickets and everything but i am kind of thinking like at least a little trip in in france i can go visit i really want to go visit the uk because i've never been but i don't i don't know if it's gonna happen this break but i need to like figure something out or i mean i don't need to i think i would also be happy to just explore paris for 10 days but i am kind of thinking and to just like hang out in my room and paint and do crafts with leaves <laughs> but i am thinking that um maybe it would be nice to go somewhere um because i think the city i realized yesterday just walking in a few trees like there were six trees or something <laughs> and I still was like oh my gosh um I am thinking that the city's getting to me a little bit but the thing is like if you go anywhere the tickets are cheap to go to like a big city and I don't really know if I want to go to a big city um and so maybe I can just take the train to some random little town and hang out there <laughs> um or maybe a coastal town I don't know but I don't really know if I'm a city girl at heart. It's really nice and I really love that in Paris I can get to like anything I want quickly. I love riding the subway. Um, I can walk to the art store. There's a honey store like right across the street from me. There's like all these little shops and it's so easy to get everywhere. Um, and so many museums and I love that. But at the same time, I do kind of miss the quieter pace of life. Um, or not that I ever really had, like, I was always in the suburbs, like, there's always something going on, but I think, like, <laughs> it's hard for me to balance these, like, two desires, the one to just, like, live in a little tiny town in the middle of nowhere where everyone knows each other, and then also the, like, desire to be a city girl, <laughs> so I don't know, um, but at least for now, I'm enjoying it, but I just, like, I'm missing nature so um hopefully we'll find some nature soon i am very much like uh i don't know if i'd say i'm an indoor person but i'm not like a hiking uh like adventure person i like to just like sit and enjoy nature or like go hunt for leaves um so um i'm not like looking for a big hiking trip that's for sure <laughs> Anyway, it's really
Ha <laughs> ha. 